today I'm leaving Amsterdam. Oh, yeah? 747. It was actually designed by a captain on KOM. This is so airy and spacious. Right? It's such an elegant plane. And, and queen it's so of the queen. sky. The queen of the sky. And we have very special cargo today. The horses. You see that horses have to pee? Oh. <laughs> so we woke up with the passengers sleeping next to us. First, have a visit at the new KLM Crown Lounge. Look at all these houses. Very, very nice. This is a brand new restaurant which uh, is opened just a couple of months ago. Uh, part of the whole new renovation of the Blue, uh, of the blue Experience. Uh, we have a bar which you can get a, uh, all the cocktails, all the drinks that you want. We have over 200 liquors and spirits. And this is our brand new a la carte restaurant created by a Michelin star chef Joris Beidendijk uh, from Amsterdam, from the Rijks. And over here we serve the, the beautiful, most beautiful dishes with uh, the best products in the Netherlands. So here's the thing, there's two floors on the KLM lounge. The first floor, everything is free, free drink, free food, loads of people. Second floor is the place to come because it's got an outdoor terrace and it's got very, very little people, excellent privacy here. Here's our cocktail menu. So it's inspired of the 100 years of existence of KLM Airlines. And we connected a cocktail with a highlight. We provided a little story, a classic cocktail with a Dutch twist. For example, the first flight to Indonesia, we have like an Indonesian rum we use. Made with William George rum. It's a rum made by one of the most famous bartenders winning world class awards. Grated nutmeg on top. There you go. Beautiful, thank you so much. You're very welcome, enjoy. Cheers. It's like an ice slurpee. 15 euros, not cheap, this cocktail, but it's good quality cocktail. Seeing all the plane at the E and F pier. Very excited, another 747 yes, flight. Yes, Yay. yes, one of the last time. Have a good flight. I think the last time I flown a 400 Combi was 20 years oh, yeah. ago, also with KLM. That was to uh, Singapore, to Jakarta. Yeah. So what do we got here? Orange juice, water, champagne, beer. Or... Hanukkah, okay. Yes, Orange that's juice. a real Dutch. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a YouTuber actually, you know, I make um, I make travel videos and I meet people. I managed to swap a seat downstairs so I can record a good takeoff with the engine shop in front wing. And here is uh, Leonard Bashin and Bashin. Cynthia from Mexico. They're so kind, they're giving me the seat. The deal was if you want to get the seat, you will take care of him for the rest of the flight. <laughs> right, I get the seat nice. and I'll take care of Bashin the rest of the flight. What a deal. <laughs>
What a great 747 takeoff. Take us to warmer places, Mexico City. Okay, for the starter, I have a choice of beef with mixed mushrooms or I have tomato soup. I have a soup, please. Soup, okay. And for the main course, I have Kepto's Choice, grouper filled with pasta, miso marinated high, uh, chicken thigh, and braised veal tartlet. Uh, I have the Captain's Choice. Okay. I have some choice of mixed nuts where I have some cheese. The main course was called the Captain's Choice. It was actually designed by a captain on KLM who won the competition within the company. Uh, it's predominantly vegetable with uh, dumpling with grouper fish inside. It was quite interesting. Did you like a KLM chocolate house? Chocolate houses. Yes. This is a very special galley because this was the former first class. The first class we used to have until 1994. So I'll show you all the details in the... Um, oops, sorry, oops. Take care. Here you see, here were the sockets for the skillets. Here were the sockets. Here were the frying pans for the steaks and for the fried eggs. And we used to have two different soups for the for the first class passengers, and they were here. It was the kind of the broth, the very thin soup and a very thick soup. And always above England, we started uh, putting the, the the big soup cups on a tray, and it started to be turbulent because we would it always be on land and then on water, and then it would be sh start shaking. So it's always big fun. Do you yeah. like working in this long galley? Is this the best I, galley you worked? Yeah, it's so spacious, you know. Then the, the newer aircrafts, they are so efficient, especially for the passengers. But this is so airy and spacious for us. So we love working here. You know, and I, I can help here very easily. It's, it's a very strange idea that this aircraft will not be flying anymore for KLM. It's very, very yeah, sad. It's very, it's very sad and very strange. Very strange. Right? It's such an elegant plane and it's so smooth during the landing. Most of the time it feels like butter, you know. It's so smooth. And queen it's so of the queen. sky. The queen of the sky, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> I want to share with all of you. Yeah. In five days time, on 21st January okay. 2020, is the 50th anniversary oh, really? of Boeing 747 since its first commercial flight wow. with Pan American. And KLM is not far away. KLM got it in 1971, wow. one year later. Oh, how very special. I love it. Thank uh, you so yeah. much. Oh, sorry, I, I hit my microphone. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> Actually, this is the director chair. Of oh, the, yeah, this yeah, is the director chair. That's yeah, me. Yeah, I'm yeah, the yeah, director here. Absolutely. I'm the video director. <laughs> yeah, the, the video I belong director. here. <laughs> yes, absolutely. It's, great. It's, it's like the Hollywood chair, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So we are, you, of course, we feel a little bit as if we are in the film, always. So we deserve these chairs as well. Yeah. I don't know. It's only for special people. <laughs> Very old coffee machine. This never changed from the beginning on. So you open this one and you can put a tin of coffee in and, uh, and you push it through and then it, the coffee comes inside. And it's nice coffee. Always yeah. good coffee. So sometimes people come on board and say, oh, I smell the coffee. But that's nice very Dutch coffee. It's a combi aircraft and half of the plane is filled with containers with cargo and we have very special cargo today and the captain will go and show us what special cargo we have today. We'll follow him. Yeah. Oh, the horses. Yeah. 
can come around the corner. Hello guys. Whoa. Big horses, all going to Mexico. Yeah, one small one in the middle. A small one, yeah. And here we have another stable with uh, a few smaller ones. We can come over here. You see there are all boxes and uh, it's almost full. Yeah, that's one. This one is empty. All right. Yeah. Look at this. The pressurization. Okay. That's the off bulkhead. So that's where all the pressure is. So this is the rear part of the normal passenger cabin, where normally about 150 passengers are seated, and uh, where now seven containers with cargo are standing. So we have three containers with horses and four containers with all other kind of cargo. And all the, all the pipes and lines you see here are also overhead of the cabin. But of course there's a ceiling installed and here it's all open. These are the drive units. These are the wheels that uh, move the containers uh, forward and aft and they, are, uh, they can rotate. So they can also move the containers left and right. And the red ones are the locks. And this also is the uh, lock bar. We're, we're seeing some water coming out. And if it smells... The you see that horses have to pee? Oh. <laughs> we, we, can, we can walk around via this side and then to the, to the front. You smell the hay. Gaat goed Marcel? Gaat goed hè? This is the animal attendant. <laughs> yeah, it's taking care of the horses. Um, they're doing very well actually here with a groom, and uh, it's just a little bit smelly around. We don't feed them, there are hay nets hanging uh, in front of the horses, so that, that's enough for the whole flight. But no. you have to check every hour? Or? No, every two hours. Every what two I hour. do, yeah, I check them every two hours and offer them water. I see. And yeah, that, that, that's it mainly if everything is okay. Are they doing okay today? Doing yeah, well? they're doing fine. Yeah, they're doing well, absolutely. Welcome to my first workstation. Uh, here is my little office and I work uh, with this screen to reset systems for the in-flight entertainment. But I also can send personal messages like happy birthday or please close the window or um, all kinds of different things. And I can send it to the whole cabin but also to one individual seat. And this is a very old plane. So in former days we used to have cassette players and the two cassettes be in here. It's incredible that it's still here. And we used to have a big tower of video cassette players as well. And every two hours I had to switch the, the video cassette. It took me quite a long time to keep, in, keep track on when to use it and when to change it. And uh, so now my work is completely different. It's a new modern times. This is the trolley for the second surface. Mm -hmm. Upstairs we have a small galley, yeah. so we don't have space for this surface. And so I'm going to change them with the elevator. Ah, so you're shifting all the new trolley to upper deck? Yes. Because upper deck is too small. This is the elevator? Yes. 
So your colleague will receive this upstairs? Yes. Yeah. So, close the door and send it up. Oh, there it's it goes. Gone. <laughs> and it's gone. <laughs> How many trolleys you got to shift? I have to shift four trolleys. Four times. Trolley, yeah. come down, yes. bring it to the long galley, yeah. and bring it up, the new one up. Ah, this one came down. Yes, this one came down. Pull it out. Crazy long flight, 12 hours day flight. Now it's about uh, 30 past midnight in Amsterdam. That's why I'm getting so tired. Slept a few hours. I mean, the 747 doesn't have the latest product. The airline won't upgrade them. You don't have the latest IFE, Wi Fi. Um, the seats are okay, long bed, but uh, the downside is you have to cross over my neighbor to get out every time. So it's not the most convenient one. Um, but speaking of 747, the crew were stellar here. They were amazing. When they found out I was a 747 fan, they really opened up. They were just doing their very best to show me everything as a favor. So uh, I had a fantastic, fantastic KLM 747 flight. It's made of recycled plastic. He has a system, huh? because we also have a small brochure with uh, information about the KLM Houses app. So lots of people have their telephone. This gentleman is a serious yeah. collector. Yeah, he's a very serious collector. <laughs> Did you enjoy the fun? Before we land, Sam, I would like to show you one more thing. Follow me, please. So hold tight when you go up. Wow. This is the crew rest. This is the crew rest. It's a bit hard to come in. Yes. Oh, eight beds here. Yeah. The, the beds are made for the way back already. And so we have the seat belts because we always have to wear a seat belts when we lie down, of course. Safety first in our airline. Oh, this is uh, better yeah. than business class. Really. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's lovely that we can stand up here because in other aircraft it's so tiny. Yeah. And of course they want to use the space so efficient, as efficient as possible. But this is so nice because it's spacious here. Once. I was a passenger who said, well, let's try to open this door. And he opened it and went upstairs and he lay down on one of the beds. So we woke up with a passenger sleeping next to us. It was very, very, very funny. We just started our descent towards Mexico City. Remaining flight time slightly depending on the traffic situation. Mexico is approximately 20 minutes. The current Mexico weather, it's partly cloudy with a light southeasterly wind and the temperature 20 degrees Celsius.
Amazing. I'm the last one to leave the upper deck of the 747. Thank you. Thank you bye. very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you. Bye. See you next time. Bye bye.